Snapping alligators, cheeky monkeys, hungry hippos and adorable pandas. This is the Hainan Channel. Hello and welcome to episode 3 of our brand new series where Jake and I explore everything adventures and outdoor Hainan. Today we've come about an hour and a half south southwest of Haiko City to one of Hainan's 4A scenic attractions. Today we're going to explore the Tropical Wildlife Park and Botanical Gardens. Covering an area of 1,500 mu or 100 hectares, the park is located in Dongshan Tan, Shuyang District, about 90 minutes drive south of Haiko City. The park is open from 9.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. and tickets cost 130 RMB with children under 1.2 meters going free. Visitor maps are well laid out showing walking trails, animal enclosures and refreshment areas. Okay, so we've just come into the park where we've got our tickets and there's two different sections. Over here on my right hand side, that's the section that you do by foot. And over here on my left hand side, that's a safari. So this is the waiting area for the bus, which will take you around the safari. It runs every about hour, hour and a half, and the first bus is about half past 10, with the last bus leaving about four o'clock. When not eating, giant pandas spend most of their time sleeping. They're mostly active early in the morning, so we decided to visit the panda enclosure first. So we're joined today by Ash, who is the Marketing and Promotion Director here at the park. Ash, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. I'm honored to be interviewed by you. Okay. Quick question. How big is the park? Oh, the park is like 1,500 moves. Okay, it's big. So yes. how many different species of animals and plants here? We actually have 100 species of animals and all together will be 3,000 of them. And we have 280 families of plants. So over 3,000 animals? Yes. And of course, you have pandas. We have two pandas from Sichuan, the panda base. So they are actually brothers. Oh, okay. So how are the pandas getting on here in Hainan? Because I know it's very, you know, it's very hot. They are very happy. As you can see, we have a playground for each one of them. And then they both gain, gain weight. Okay. After get here. <laughs> and speaking of weight, how much food do pandas go through every day? Uh, every pandas um, getting food, the, the amount is different. So uh, our Shun Shun, uh, the younger one, it will get like 10 grams a day. Uh, the brother will get like 15 uh, kilograms a day. So there's Shu Shu and... Gong Gong. Gong Gong. Yes. And they're both brothers. Yes. How many hours during the day do they sleep? Like over 12 hours. Wow. Ash, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So that's it for the panda section. Let's move on and see what else the park has to offer. If you'd like a souvenir to remember your visit to the park, there's a panda gift shop next to the enclosure. Yes, yes. So next to the panda enclosure, there's a, a little uh, gift shop with all the usual soft ties and little accoutrements. I got myself, a, well, my wife, a little fan and a pen for my son, panda pen. Next up, the monkey enclosure. The enclosure is home to some 200 marquee monkeys. Marquee monkeys are native to Southeast Asia and their natural habitat includes rainforests, mangroves and shrublands. Ideally, they like a forest environment, but spend a lot of the time on the ground. If you do feed them, be sure to throw the food away from yourself to avoid being scratched. With the monkeys behind us, we moved on to the next enclosure, the alligators. So we've come to the alligator section and what I have here is a bamboo pole and on the end of it, I got a, a chicken drumstick and I'm gonna feed the alligators. So I've been told I need to drop it in and just tease it a little bit. Wow, bloody hell. I would not like to fall in there. Bloody hell. Half a chicken later, we moved on to the hippos. 
So we've just come to the hippo section and I know just from uh, reading about these things that they're actually one of the most dangerous animals for man. I think they're one of the biggest killers of people um, in Africa when it comes to wildlife. So I'm not getting too close to this guy. What I have here are some sweet potatoes and some carrots. And uh, he's presented me with uh, a very big target, so it's very, it's very hard to miss. Despite Jake's best efforts, the giraffes well, are completely I... indifferent. Maybe they're not hungry today. <laughs> well, I, well, I... Fun fact, a giraffe's tongue is 20 inches long and can be prone to sunburn. <laughs> so that was a safari by foot. I'd say give yourself about an hour and a half or maybe even just a little bit longer if you have children and you're, you're going to stop to feed the animals, the alligators and all that. So now we're on to the drive through safari. So we'll see you in the next bit. Keep in mind, animals inside the drive through section are predators, so keep your windows and doors closed at all times. Like going into Jurassic Park. So we've come to the elephant enclosure, everybody's favourite animals, and you can get to um, you know water the uh, the elephant or feed them. So that's it for this episode. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If uh, if you like this video and you'd like to see more like it, you can visit our website tropicalhainan.com or you can find us on YouTube, the Hainan channel. So until next time, happy adventures.